the Lord looks upon us with any kind of favor knowing ourselves to be sinners. Well, it's his work. Don't take my word for it. Don't ask your neighbor. Look to him. That's why it says, abide in me, and I in you. That abiding is a dwelling. And it's not something you do. Fruit isn't jumping in and out. The fruit abides. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. And again, who's the branch? Well, the branch here is those that are in him. It doesn't bear fruit of itself. That's our testimony for the Lord's. I am what I am by the grace of God. So as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. In other words, we acknowledge that all we have in ours in him. I'm the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Here it is, for without me you can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, so here now is a difference. We're, we're talking about those branches that do abide because it's Christ keeping them. But we know there are many who profess to be in Christ and yet do not abide in him or his doctrine. And they find ways to diminish the glory of Christ and who he is in his person, they don't abide in him. They believe in a mixture of grace and works. We run into these people all the time that profess to be in Christ and yet don't abide in him. It says he's cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they're burned. But the difference between being in Christ by his grace and being just a professor that ultimately the Lord himself separates out. 